Good morning, Richfield Life. It is so good to be back with you. Last week, Nicole and I had the incredible privilege to work with the Word of Life Bible Institute in New York City. There were 240 students there and nearly 100 staff and support members of which we got to be a part of. The incredible good news is the most recent update that we got is the students and ourselves had over 19,000 engagements, were able to present the gospel nearly 2,200 times, and praise God, we saw 126 people come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. We were able to get those people who came to know Jesus plugged into local churches. We had all that information with us, gave those individuals information to local pastors so that there could be follow-up for discipleship, and we are just rejoicing uh, with the opportunity. So thank you for allowing us to go and prayerfully support Supporting us, and we wanted to share that good news with you. So, welcome this morning to worship. We have so many wonderful reasons to praise the Lord, and we're so glad that you're here. Well, hey, if you are a follower of Jesus and you've been thinking about being baptized, we'd love to give you an invitation. June 2nd will be our worship service and baptism service. This is held at the Huffman's River lot. And we would love for you to consider being baptized. Baptism is not what saves you, but is an act of obedience that the Word of God calls us to for all believers to partake in. If you are at all interested, please talk with me or any of the other staff or any of the elders to let us know. We also would like to invite you that if you are interested in church membership or just getting to know more about Richfield Life, we are going to be starting a Next Steps class. This will be starting May 19th, room five in the basement of the Fellowship Hall, and Josh will be sharing more about this in just a little bit. We also wanted to let you know that our dinner theater is coming up this weekend and there are still seats available. We would love for you to use this as an opportunity for outreach or just a fun night out to connect with other people. So consider signing up starting Thursday, May 9th and through the weekend. It's gonna be a great weekend together. We also have another unique opportunity on May 16th. The Matt Good and his family, who are missionaries with Word of Life in Poland, are coming to town. That May 16th, we are having a luncheon at 12 o'clock and a concert slash mission update at two o'clock. We know for many of you that are working, this won't work, but unfortunately, this is the only time slot that we had that would work for the Good family and the church's schedule. And we would love to see you come out and just use this as a time to support the goods, but also enjoy a time together with other believers as we just celebrate and rejoice in what God is doing all over the world. At this time, we have an opportunity to hear some other updates from Josh and from Dave Rao from Promise Ranch. So tune in. Good morning, church. And yes, we do have a new class starting called Next Steps. Now, RLMC is a great church, but if you haven't figured it out, RLMC is a little bit of a confusing church with how much is going on. And if you can't resonate with that and you say RLMC is not confusing, I'm venturing to guess you grew up at RLMC. Because as someone who came from the outside, I can tell you that I resonate with what Aaron said once in a youth leadership meeting that I was in. He said, when people come to Richfield Life, they think a few things. They think, wow, everyone is so nice and I feel so welcome here and I have no idea what's going on. And I absolutely agree. When I first came here, I thought, wow, they're so nice. There's so many events. There's, I feel so welcome. I don't know what's going on though. And if you also can feel that way, then I would recommend that you consider coming to this class. It's going to be in the Fellowship Hall Basement Room 5. And if you don't know where that is, all the more reason to come to the class. That's something you'll find out is about all the different church buildings. And don't feel bad. I work here. I still had to clarify which room that was. In this class, we'll go over stuff like the church buildings. We'll go over a little bit of church history and what the church believes. We'll also go over all the ministries that are offered here throughout the week, as well as yearly events that we have that are important to know about. And it'll be a great way for you to get all the information that you need to better be ministered to and even be a part of ministering to others while you're here. And having been a part of this class, you will also be only a step or two away from membership if you so choose to pursue that. Now, Hope to see you there. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Howdy, everyone. Uh, Dave here from Promise Ranch. Excited to invite everyone, 
young and old, one and all, next Saturday, May the 11th, out to Promise Ranch for our annual open house called Saddle Up for Summer. The event runs from 12 o'clock to 5 o'clock on Saturday afternoon, and we have tried to think of something for everyone. So if you are looking for a chance to just come out and understand a little bit more about what Promise Ranch is, what we do, uh, this is a great opportunity. Uh, during the day, uh, children and adults will be able to get a pony ride, wagon rides, play lots of games, lots of fun activities for the kids and adults, uh, some hay bale throwing and sack race events. Uh, we will have our some of our own worship team from Richfield Life uh, there uh, doing several sets of worship music during the afternoon. And okay, dads and grandpas, if you're thinking this sounds like I'll send out grandma, mom, and the kids, I've got a pig roast, I've got kettle fries, chicken corn soup and kettles, ham and bean soup and kettles, baked goods, uh, all for you to enjoy. So bring lawn chairs, sit and eat, enjoy music, watch or participate in activities. We will have a candy scramble in the field around four o'clock in the afternoon. And we will also have a silent basket auction on uh, all afternoon. And that raises funds for our scholarship program for families who need financial help to send their children to camp. So you can either come and bid on baskets, or if there's anybody here that would like to donate items for that basket auction, you can certainly reach us this week. We would like to have those by Friday at noon, if at all possible. Uh, so we would love to have all of you. Please come and uh, just join us for a fun day uh, of celebration and preparing for this summer season of ministry. We're so grateful for you tuning in here today and so thankful that you're here to worship. Isn't it so good to be a child of God and get to worship His Son, Jesus Christ? So let's join together as we praise and worship His great name.